Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Reacting to these True Story Animations. The last episode that I told you guys where a certain channel told me not to react to their animations anymore. After that video went live, a few animation channels actually hit me up and was like, hey, you know, you can react to our animations if you want to. One in particular was this channel here called Storytime Animated. They said, you know what? You have our full permission to react to all of our videos. They know that it's all harmless fun. So before we begin, Again, guys, can we just, 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 uh, can we just, okay, that's actually enough of that. But yeah, shout out to Storytime Animated. Go check out their channel, guys. I really do appreciate that they just gave me full permission. I'm not saying the other channel was wrong for not giving me full permission, but a few animation channels did say that I have permission to react to their content. So we are going to check out a couple animations in this episode. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go. First video of today's episode is called I Eat Pizza Every Day, and it is from Storytime Animated. Shout out to them again, the real MVP. The real MVP, should we clap again? No, we're not gonna clap again. Okay, and the reason why I'm not wearing my headphones is because I have like some pimple like right here on the side of my ear and it hurts guys, eat hoits. I only ate pizza for years. That's the life. I That's love the life. pizza. I know, I know everybody likes pizza. Hey, I know everybody likes pizza, but does everybody in this family like the fact that the youngest sister got the biggest head in the world? Bitch. Freaking bowling ball head ass. But I love it so much that it was the only thing that I ate for almost 10 years. 10 years, guys. It all damn, started boy. at the beginning that's a, that's of first a kid grade. Right there. On the that's first day of kid. school, that's a I grader. walked into the cafeteria and I nearly threw up. The smell was horrible. All around. She's smiling though. Like she's smelling it, but she's smiling though. It's kind of like when you fart and you smell your own fart and it stinks, but you're like, that came from me. That fart is my son. Found where different types of food and their smells were all mixing together. Even when you could pick out just one smell, it was never a good one. The entire room smelled like a garbage can. There was no way that I was going to eat anything that came out of the cafeteria. Not if it smelled like that. For the first couple of days, I just didn't eat. How does I sat the sandwich smell that bad? Tried to ignore like, the let's smell. be real. Come but on. while they were laughing, my stomach was rumbling. I was starving, but I still couldn't bring myself to eat any of the gross food the cafeteria served. After a few days, I asked my parents if I could start bringing my lunch with me. My mom said it was okay, but she didn't have time to pack my lunch for me, so I would have to pack it myself every Basically, morning. she means she didn't have time to bake that freaking pizza, put it in the oven, preheat it to 400 degrees for your whole ass, and just let you eat pizza every day. Morning. You know how big you're gonna Anything get eating pizza every day? Anything was better than the cafeteria, so I agreed, and the next morning, I got up extra early to make my lunch. I opened up the fridge so I could make a sandwich, but the lunch meat wasn't the first thing to catch my eye. Low key, Instead, a pizza is a sandwich. In the bottom drawer, if you I saw think some about leftover it. pizza that my dad had brought home from his job at a pizza parlor. And as I said before, I love pizza. She loves pizza. I looked pizza. at it and I looked at my empty lunchbox. And I decided that it wouldn't hurt anything if I just took in some pizza for my lunch. Bro, I get that was, you love pizza, but I love eating ass, but you don't see me eating it every day. Like, you gotta switch it up. The problem was, once I started, I couldn't stop. She's I started addicted. packing pizza for lunch every day, and the idea of eating anything else She's started to, to seem crazy. Pie. Why would I, I trade her. in my gooey, cheesy goodness for a boring sandwich or something out of the cafeteria? Facts. The more pizza Facts. I ate for lunch, the less Facts. real food I wanted to eat at dinner. My mom would work really hard to make a big meal for me and my family, but all I would be able to think about was how it wasn't pizza. I stopped eating dinner with my family until my mom realized what was happening and started to let me eat pizza for dinner too. What a great my mom. Dad brought home left. Yo, can we clap it up for the mom? Can, can we do the clapping thing again? No, I just really like doing the clapping thing. Leftovers from his job every single night. So no matter how much pizza I ate, we never seemed to run out. I was eating pizza for every meal, and for a while, it felt like I was living the dream. That is I the dream. I looked forward to lunch and dinner every that day. That Loki is the I dream. I laughed at all my friends whose parents made them eat fruits and vegetables, and I bragged that all I ever she ate looks was sick. pizza. <laughs> but after a couple of years of eating pizza every day, I didn't feel as good about it anymore. I still loved eating pizza, but by the time I got to middle school, I was starting to see effects from my unhealthy eating habits. I mean, of course, like pizza is a combination of protein, carbs, and fat. High as hell on the fat side because it's so oily from the cheese. It does have all the macronutrients that you need, 
but it doesn't have like the quality of it if that makes any sense so you need to get your vegetables in there maybe get um what's it called like the garden pizza what is that called again well it has like like olives and like spinach and tomato and onions is it called like garden or is it called combination i had started to gain weight and it was really bad for my self-esteem oh, yeah. and soon i started having other problems i know too. all about that everyone gets acne in middle school but i, I seem get to acne have it worst in of all life school. i got really like, my bad whole life I have acne. all over my face got them holes right now all over away, my face no matter what i washed my face with things even got so bad that i got sick my stomach would hurt all the time and i started to throw up after some of my meals i didn't feel good about eating pizza anymore i didn't really feel good at all my mom took me to the doctor and explained what was happening i trust the doctor, my doctor named dr said Jones. that i needed to eat 100%. healthier or things would only get worse i couldn't imagine what could be worse than what was already happening Death? It wasn't easy, Heart but attack? I started to eat better. Combination of the First, two? First, I tried eating pizza with vegetables on it. Yeah, see? Then That's I what I would have done. Then I eventually Big start brain. eating the vegetables on their own. They were slimy and weird, but I told myself that eating vegetables was better than throwing up. slimy and weird? I forced She's talking down about the vegetables, vegetables are the goat. after a while, they didn't seem so bad. It took a few weeks, but soon I was I like able vegetables. to eat a full meal without Broccoli, any pizza. Broccoli, asparagus, I wasn't throwing kale, up spinach, anymore, and my acne bada -bing, bada -bing, was already starting to clear up. Tomato, I, I felt potato. better about myself than I had in years, and my body was changing to match that feeling. Yeah. I still hey, I'm, I'm about love to clap it up, pizza, guys. and I eat it every once in a while, but I'm not obsessed I'm anymore, and I feel I'm so much better because right now, of because it. Story time animated, if you enjoyed my story, don't forget to subscribe, and I'm talking leave over the a like, again. and check out the other I'm stories. Over. I'm talking over you! Next video we are going to check out is from Storytime Animated again. This one is called, I drank a bunch of baby milk, now I'm pregnant. The only question we have on our mind is, obviously, you guys already know, is it watery before it gets creamy? Hi, my name is Vanessa, and I got pregnant from drinking baby formula. Bruh. <laughs> Ever since I was young, I've loved the taste of baby milk. I knew it was weird for me to continue drinking it since I was no longer a baby or even a toddler, but I couldn't give it up. I guess you might say I was addicted to it. When I was in high school, I'd spend my allowance in buying myself my favorite brand of baby formula and I'd keep it hidden in my room. I why? Why do you keep it hidden like it's some kind of drug? I mean, maybe it tastes so good that it feels like it's a drug, but why you even got the baby bottle? Like, you could drink it out of a cup. Why do you got to drink it out of a baby bottle? I even had a baby bottle hidden underneath my bed. Drink it out of like a shaker I mean, cup. People would call me Come a on, freak it's the same if thing. they discovered my favorite treat. Don't go so full I baby mode and suck on that little nipple sure thing. I was all alone. Look at that. My parents had no idea about you know? my secret taste guilty pleasure. They did wonder why I didn't use my money to go to the cinema with my friends or buy myself nice stuff, but they just figured I was really careful with my income. In reality, I was spending all my extra money on my favorite brand of baby milk, which wasn't cheap. Now, you might know baby formula comes in two different formats, powder or that. liquid milk. Now I do. Honestly, I've always preferred baby powdered milk, milk since here. I could choose how much water I added to it, and so I could decide how thick or thin I wanted to drink my milk that day. I did buy myself liquid milk when I knew I'd be away from my room and wouldn't get access to my secret stash, though. Okay, you know what? I am not a baby milk expert, but I do know for a fact that there is no such thing as a store dedicated to selling milk. Or is there? Let me look that up. Is, is there a milk shop? No, I typed in milk store in Google and it's just like an aisle in a regular store. If there was a dedicated milk store, I bet you this is where all the dads would be when they told their kids that they're gonna go to the store to get some milk. I was so close to being caught a few times, but luckily no one ever discovered my secret. Why don't you just play As it off like it's actual milk? And moved out of my parents' and not house, baby milk. it became easier to indulge in my addiction. I didn't have to hide the baby formula any longer and could keep it in my fridge or pantry, which was great. I felt so free since I could lay down on my sofa, does drinking she drink my it and baby go, milk Mama. without needing to lock myself in <laughs> the bathroom <laughs> or my room and gulp it like, down Like, does she quickly. actually, like, go full baby milk mode? Really I mean, she puts it in the baby instead. bottle, so... It was really awesome being an adult and being free to both pay for my own baby milk and not need to hide it in the comfort of my own house. All right, we the get it. You love the milk. Though, How did you get pregnant from it? Feelings. No matter if no one was watching, I still felt so odd doing it. Like it was so weird and messed up, even if I wasn't harming anyone. I guess I liked it because it made me feel safe when I was a little girl and my mom would take care of me. Okay, that Plus, makes sense. the taste is really good and I loved laying back and relaxing with my bottle and my baby milk. Okay. When I was in my okay. mid-twenties, I met a guy who I really liked. He became my boyfriend and would spend a lot of time at my house. That made me have to hide again when I drank my milk or had to wait until he wasn't there to indulge in my guilty pleasure. I'm going to pause the video real quick. 
um, I keep thinking about the title of this video. Every time I watch these animations, I always glance at the title. That's a little fun fact. The title is, I drank a bunch of baby milk. Now I'm pregnant. She meets this douchebag, you know, this generic average dude. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm praying. I would get down on my knees if I didn't have old ass bones. And I would just be like, please, story. Don't go the relationship route. Don't do it! Like, just get pregnant from the baby milk because that's what the title said. Just do it for me. After a while, for me. I decided I didn't want to hide around him any longer. Do it for if me. he didn't accept me the way I was, maybe do our relationship me. wasn't right for me. Please. So I gathered some courage and sat him down one day. Please don't. I showed oh, him God. my baby formula stash and no. my baby bottles <laughs> and explained that I loved drinking it and had been doing it since I was young. Oh, you Honestly, I was sure he'd call me a freak and walk out on me, but he was surprisingly understanding. He even encouraged me. My boyfriend said he didn't see anything wrong with it, and he'd even buy me baby milk if I wanted him to. Hey, this is a good Imagine guy. Imagine how happy I felt. This is a good I guy. I had someone in my life that loved clap, and supported clap, clap, clap me and no. didn't think okay. that my baby milk We're addiction not was weird at all. We're not gonna clap. Can so I make my ass cheeks buying no. me my okay. favorite brand and bringing it home for me. I was sure he was the right guy for me and that we'd eventually get married. Uh -huh. One day, he made me my bottle, and when I began drinking it, the taste seemed off. What in the actual ass? Now this could go one of two directions. You know what? I'm gonna let you guys decide the directions that this story can go. I mean, we're all thinking it, but let's see why this milk tastes so funny. It didn't taste bad. It was just different. It was creamy? I asked if he bought a different brand, and he told me he hadn't. Maybe he said it as a home brand. Maybe they the ingredients slightly. And you know, it's local. <laughs> I shrugged it off and drank the rest of my bottle. I didn't think anything it's of local, it until bro. a few weeks later when things began to Closer change. Closer than you think. I got sick every single morning and felt odd. What the heck? I didn't heck? get my period that month, and so I decided to go see a doctor in order to figure out what was wrong with me. Much to my surprise, my doctor told me that I was pregnant. Dude. I told him that was impossible since I was still a virgin, even if I did have a boyfriend. He ran some tests just to be certain, and it turned out that I really was pregnant. Ooh! I couldn't believe it. How was it possible? Ooh! Maybe my boyfriend had slipped something in my baby bottle? Maybe drinking so much baby formula had gotten me pregnant? Mm -hmm. I'm still not really sure how this happened, even though I'm eight months pregnant now. What? I plan to keep my baby, and my boyfriend is fully supporting me. Bro, man, I, I'm not one to use the word simp. Let's get this guy back in the frame. Let's get uh, this guy back in the frame. I'm not one to call anybody a simp because, you know, we all simps at the end of the day. But I'm just saying, if somebody that I was with got pregnant and we didn't do anything at all, I wouldn't just be like, no, nah, maybe it's the baby milk. I'd be like, hey, what's this guy's name? I thought you were with me. But you were with he! I plan to keep my baby, and my boyfriend is fully supporting me. Though I'm kind of scared. I want to be the best mom possible. So maybe this is a blessing in disguise? I don't As understand. As for my baby milk addiction, I, don't understand how you got I decided pregnant. I really it was don't. best to give it up. I really don't want to get pregnant again from it. Since this Thanks video makes none. Do you have any secret habit that you try to keep from your family and friends? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget let us to know in the comments and check out the other videos. Bro, this video is like 10 minutes long. Bonus story, boy! Hi, my name is Allison, and I'm in love with a loser. I'm in love with a loser. I'm listening to a story told by a loser. All right, guys, but that's going to do it for this episode of reacting to these true story animations. Shout out to Storytime Animated for real. Check them out, guys. Like, they emailed me, and they gave me full permission to react to their content. I really do appreciate that because I'm just trying to have some fun here. If you guys enjoyed this video and want more animation reactions in the future, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude! <laughs>